Hello and welcome, my name is Lexi and today we're taking a look at the new Givenchy Intense Silk Lipsticks. So I do have a video on the holiday lipsticks where they did release one shade in this formula in their holiday collection before the rest of them were widely available in the United States. So I'll leave that linked down below in the description box and I do have a swatch of that here. It is a limited edition shade and it's not included in the permanent collection, but you can still find that lipstick available for purchase in certain places periodically. So it's a really great one. Let's go ahead and we're gonna start with the lip swatches and product details, then we'll go ahead and do some arm swatches. The new Givenchy Le Rouge Interdit Intense Silk Lipstick comes in 25 shades. They retail for 40 US dollars. We actually have 21 listed here in the US. And I picked up the four that I purchased, not including the holiday shade, actually from Feel Unique, which has become Sephora UK, but they are still, you know, it, it's weird. You know, I can still see it as Feel Unique, and when I order from them, I still get a Feel Unique invoice, so they are still shipping to the US. I'm not sure how long that will continue or if it will always continue, but that's why I picked mine up. I actually ordered them back in, I wanna say December. So I've had them for a while. I play with them on and off during that time and they just released here in the US in January. So, uh, you know, these lipsticks I think are actually really nice. And again, I do have preliminary thoughts on the Intense Silk Shade 338 from the Holiday Collection in a separate video, but let's talk a little bit about these particular lipsticks. These are 3.4 grams or 0.12 ounces, and they do have a genuine leather case. If you're familiar with previous Givenchy, like the Le Rouge Volupte lipsticks, this is the same case that they had previously. These are made in France, and I don't see any sort of, you know, expiration upon opening date or anything like that on the product or the packaging. So just something to note there. So these lipsticks are refillable or rechargeable in six of their shades. Now, over time, Givenchy will be adding more refills to their lineup, but right now their six most popular shades are refillable. You can buy refills of those if you're interested, or you can buy it as the entire lipstick. The case is genuine black leather, and it's coming from um, a traceable tannery that's rated gold by the Leather Working Group for social and environmental response responsibility. And they have at least 30% PCR plastic in the lid. The paper outer packaging is made from FSC certified forests and controlled wood printed with bio-based ink. So they are trying to reduce their environmental impact. These new lipsticks are a semi-matte lipstick. And according to Givenchy, they have been reinvented in a new eco-conceived formula with a surprisingly sensorial texture enveloped in a couture case glides over the lips like silk while delivering a luminous semi-matte finish. And thanks to its formula enriched in hyaluronic acid spheres and Acmella oloracea extract, lips are instantly smoothed and inner water is locked for up to 24 hours for absolute comfort. Color is long lasting and stays vibrant up to 12 hours. There's an ultra fine film with the most vivid color and the utmost comfort. Their philosophy for this line is less is more. So you really only need a thin layer of pigment. So as we're going through these, you can kind of see how much pigment you get from one layer versus building it up. And these are gonna be pretty opaque with one swipe. And they really do have a very thin silk-like texture. There's definitely a little bit of slip on the lips, yet it doesn't feel oily or greasy. It's not really sliding around. And once you kind of let that sit for a minute, you'll see that it really does get to kind of that semi-matte look. When you first apply it, it does have a little bit more of a satin sheen to it, but that will set down in a minute or two. All right, so it has been five hours since I applied this lipstick. And I just wanted to show you what it looks like. I have not had anything to eat or drink since putting this on. So absolutely nothing. And this is what it looks like up close. So you can see that the pigmentation has held up really well. There is a 
a little bit, I'm not even sure if you can tell on camera, but there's a little bit of fading in the center of my lips, you know, obviously from talking and so forth, but you know, really nothing major. But again, this is without eating or drinking. And you can imagine with the eating and drinking, there's definitely going to be significant fading. At this point, I would have to reapply if that were the case. So. Now, compared to the previous version of these, I do think that these have a little bit more of a satin matte finish. The others were really more of a satin cream texture. And with certain shades, they were definitely a little bit of a heavier, thicker formulation. This is definitely gonna be thinner, more lightweight on the lips. Now, regarding its claims of staying vibrant up to 12 hours, you know, I have not experienced them lasting that well. Perhaps some of the deeper, more bright colors, uh, you know, leave a little bit more pigmentation on the lips for up to 12 hours. But the four that I picked up really don't last that long. These are gonna last like a traditional satin lipstick for the most part. You'll still have a little bit of pigment remaining after four to five hours, you know, if you're doing things like eating and drinking. If you're not doing any of those, it can last. But if you're doing regular activities, you're definitely gonna have, a, a, you know, in my opinion, significant fading of the lip product, uh, at least with the lighter shades that I picked up. As for the level of comfort, I do find these to be very comfortable on the lips. They have a very thin, silky texture on the lips. And as you're wearing it, you know, that texture will kind of fade, sink into your lips a little bit, but they don't feel dry afterwards. They do still feel like they are retaining moisture. Now, I have not experienced my moisture feeling like it is locked on my lips for 24 hours, but it does seem to last longer than the pigmentation level. So let's go ahead and move on to arm swatches. And as you saw in the lip swatches, I do have a few shades of the previous formulation, which those particular shades are now included in the new line as well. So they do have some returning shades, they have some brand new shades. And of course, some of my favorite shades from the previous formula are not included this time. So we'll see if those get added at a future date. But let's go ahead and start with the ones that I purchased. First up, we have shade 110. And here's one layer versus having it built up. And this is gonna be your classic rosy peachy nude kind of mix. So it's like a great everyday shade. And I really like this one. I have this, this is like equivalent to the beige new in the velvet and the sheer velvet. I'll swatch those for you in a minute. Um, but yeah, you know, it's, it's a classic. Then we have shade 116 another one that I love and have in a few different formulas. And you can see this is gonna be more of a deeper mid-tone rose with a touch of nude in there, but it's really more of a tea rose. And you can see how pigmented one layer is versus several. You know, you really do get high pigmentation with one swipe. Next, we have shade 210. And this is the one that I'm wearing on my lips right now. And you can see that this is going to be a nice, a uh, little bit more of a vibrant pink than 116. And it's also a, has a little bit of warmth in there. There's a touch of coral in that pink. And it's a really beautiful shade. Next, we have shade number 223. And this is a nice, vibrant pink. And you can see this is gonna be cooler in tone than the other ones that I picked up. Now, before we move on to additional swatches, I do want to address my biggest complaint of these. So as I mentioned, there are certain shades that are refillable. I'm having an issue with those that are refillable. So my refill keeps coming out. It's not snapping in securely. Now, when it gets stuck like this, it's not getting stuck with the lipstick actually getting destroyed or anything like that. You can see it's not, you can see it's not dented or anything. And I can actually, you know, turn the gear with my finger, but I think my component is broken. So this is my shade 116, which I believe is the Nude Boise. Unfortunately, they do not have names on the boxes or on the actual lipsticks. The older version of these did have the names and the numbers on the bottom, which I thought was really helpful. 
So my problem is the refillable packaging. I think they really need to go back and redesign those. So I have a couple of them with loose refills. This is the only one that's really not snapping in. The other one I was able to kind of snap that in and I haven't had issues with it. But this one in particular has been a huge pain. Now this is the holiday lipstick that was limited edition 338. And I absolutely love this shade. So out of all of these that I picked up, actually my favorite is this 338, but I'll, I know I'll be wearing these lighter shades like all the time. They're great like everyday shades, but this is just such a beautiful pop. Now the two that I have that are from the previous formula in returning shades, we have 304 Mandarin Bolero. And you can see going on that the texture of this is just a little bit creamier. And it, it's still gonna be uh, highly pigmented with one swipe, but it does have a different texture on the lips. It feels more like a satin cream. And then we have 306 Carmen Escarpin. And this is a bit more of a fiery red. So there is a touch of orange in this red, really beautiful shade. So these two are in the old formula swatched here, but they are shades that are now in the Intense Silk line. So these are the La Rouge Sheer Velvets. I wanna show you shade number 10, Beige New, and how that compares. I love this formula. And these are equivalent shades, just in different formulas. So you can kind of see how uh, close they are. You can see in the Intense Silk, you can see a little bit more pink in there, whereas this definitely has a bit more brown. We also have it in the Deep Velvet. Again, this is shade 10 Beige New. And yeah, it's really pretty. But I do think that this one is slightly cooler in the Deep Velvet than it is in the Intense Silk. It's got a little bit more peach in the Intense Silk version. And the Sheer Velvet in number 16, Nude Boise. Let's put that one right here. And you can see that that color is gonna be pretty close, you know, really not much of a difference between the formulas. It's really just gonna be about your finish. Now, let me just show you this case up close. We have the Givenchy logo here. You've got a Givenchy logo at the bottom and the other side, and you just pull this out, twist this up. They do have the color numbers on the bottom and they're also printed right here. So if you are using a refill and you know your case doesn't have the number on it, you can see it without having to actually take your refill out, which I think is a nice touch. So overall, my thoughts on these lipsticks, I think these are a really nice new formula. I actually prefer this over the previous formulation, which I thought was great, but you know I do like this thinner, silkier texture a bit more on the lips and I find them to be very comfortable to wear. And yeah, overall, I think they are really nice. They do have a little bit of a soft matte finish, but still it's more of a satin matte. So I think it's you know really nice, it's refreshing, it's a little bit of a different change than the other formulations, the sheer velvet and the deep velvet, but you can see, you know, those are fantastic formulas as well. So. I have to say, you know, between these different formulas, I do really like all of them, but I think that their sheer velvet and deep velvet formulas are more special than the Intense Silk. I think the Intense Silk is a great formula, but I do think that it is, you know, it's a little bit more lightweight, but on the lips, it still has a very similar appearance to several other formulas, such as uh, like the Clay de Peau lipsticks and so forth. So, yeah, you know, overall, I just don't think it is a super unique formula, but I think it's a really great classic formula with some classic shades. The shades that they have released in this line, a lot of them lean toward reds, but it's really nice to see that they do have some lighter shades in here as well. But, uh, you know, that's just something to take note. Now, although these shades here are not necessarily um, dupes, but I did want to compare the formula here. This is the Clay de Peau Matte Lipstick which is a creamy matte, but it has more of a satin matte finish. This is gonna be thicker and creamier in texture than the Intense Silk, but the final appearance on your lips is going to be a bit more similar. And then this is, by the way, that shade is 110 Exuberant. This is shade number 11, Triumphant Tawny, in the satin formula. Again, it's gonna be thicker and creamier, just slightly, and this one will be more of a true satin on the lips. 
but I just wanted to show you how those compare. So color wise, I don't really have any shades that quite match those. I have to say that's, it's really nice to see that the tones of these Givenchy lipsticks don't quite match other things in my collection. But if you have specific re requests for any comparisons, please be sure to let me know down below in the comments and I will try to include those in a real or short. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. Let me know what you think about these lipsticks if you've tried any of these yet. And I'll see you very soon. Have a wonderful day.